So it's been a little bit over a year since I compared Horizon West to Lake Nona and a lot has changed between those two areas since then compared to now. And so in today's video, I'm gonna give a more up-to-date comparison so that you can have a better idea of which area might be best for you. All right, so let's first talk about what hasn't changed, which is the location. So Horizon West, just for a refresher, is about 10 minutes, depending on where you're at, to Disney, 30 minutes to downtown, maybe about an hour and a half to the East Coast, say Daytona Beach, Cocoa Beach, and that kind of thing. Lake Nona is about 10 minutes from the airport, which is really nice if that's your thing. You're about 30 to 40 minutes to Disney, about 25 to 35 to downtown, and you're about an hour from the East Coast. And so in terms of location, there isn't really an objective winner, it's pretty much subjective based on your priorities. So I have people who move to the Lake Nona area because they are frequent travelers and being five to 10 minutes from the airport is godsend. I also have people who are like avid Disney fans. They go there maybe two, three times a week. And so living in Horizon West and being that close to the parks is priceless to them. And so the winner of the location category is based on you. Let's talk about retail. And this is where my opinion has even shifted somewhat in the past year and a half. And is that Horizon West has made tremendous strides in getting more retail options into the area. Just yesterday, three different retail ventures opened in the area. Chick-fil-A, a bakery, and the most exciting of them all to me at least, and to plenty of the families that I'm currently helping relocate, urban Air Adventure Park. That thing looks absolutely insane. However, I will say on the medical side, Lake Nona trumps Horizon West by a long shot. You got Medical City there. And so for some people who would need services for their children, say via Nemours or VA Hospital, that might be a better option for you. But just based on pure restaurants, retail, fun things to do, I think Horizon West is certainly making more strides than Lake Nona at the moment. Let's talk about the fun stuff, the real estate. And this might shock you. So if you look back so far this year, the median close price in Lake Nona is right around $600,000, whereas in Horizon West, it's about $550,000. And so that's not that far off from where some people might have thought. So I can certainly understand you preferring Horizon West because you're able to get slightly more for your money with prices being slightly less. Now, another thing when it comes to new construction, both areas have good amounts of new construction options available with Horizon West having more and even just more general inventory because the area is that much larger than that of Lake Nona. Another thing to note too, which not a lot of people talk about, but I know especially again, because I work with a lot of families is that Horizon West communities have a ton of amenities. If you're new to the area, you're moving here, you're looking to meet other parents or you're just looking to meet other people. I think that is one thing to note that Horizon West just in general typically has more than Lake Nona. Now don't get me wrong, Lake Nona has some great neighborhoods with some great amenities, but just in terms of sheer options, Horizon West is gonna have you covered more. Now another thing to note that is pretty niche as well, gated communities. Horizon West doesn't have a lot of them. They only have about one or two. Whereas Lake Nona, you have slightly more options with Laurel Point, Eagle Creek, some of these other neighborhoods. And so if you are someone that needs to be behind the gates, Horizon West might not be for you. That might be a Lake Nona thing. Now, in terms, if you're looking on the luxury side of things, both areas have a good amount of options, but Lake Nona would certainly take the crown in that aspect. When you got Lake Nona Golf and Country Club, you got Laurel Point and some of these other neighborhoods with golf course and lakefront views. But just in terms of sheer affordability, Horizon West wins. Last but definitely not least is comparing the potential of both areas. Now, Horizon West is currently working on their last village, Village I, Village Ovation, mostly residential happenings in that area with a lot of new communities, but not a lot of new retail. Whereas in Lake Nona, they have a long runway to go still, guys. They got about maybe 10, 20 years left of incredible development. Really from every sector, they're pumping millions and millions of dollars into tech startups with LEED. You got the aviation sector with Simcom Aviation, and then you also got the electric vertical aircraft and the whole airport and how that's gonna connect to Kissimmee's new community, Neo City, and connect to Tampa. And then on the medical side, plenty of investment there. They recently just paid about $70 million to construct a nursing building on the UCF Medical Center. And so while I really truly believe that Horizon West will continue to grow with right where we're standing, this is gonna be the new home for Pop Stroke by Tiger Woods right over there. That's a Tiki Docs Bar and Grill. And if you actually turn that way, I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but that spot right next to the movie theater was supposed to be the um, home of the AG's food market, which currently isn't technically canceled, but we haven't heard anything on future development. But if that comes to, to Horizon West, 
I'm changing my mind. Horizon West is the best area. And so as it goes for the winner of potential, although I believe both areas will grow, I think Lake Nona takes the edge. So I genuinely love both these areas. I think you can live an amazing life in both, whether it's Lake Nona or Horizon West, but it's really gonna come down to your preference and also aligning your budget with what your expectations are housewise. And so if you are looking to buy a home in Horizon West or Lake Nona or anywhere in Orlando, I'd love to partner with you as your real estate agent. So you can reach out to me by email, info at orlandowithmario.com and I'll be happy to get the process started with you. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next one.